So every five years, your scuba cylinder has to be hydrostatically tested, and every year it has to be visually inspected. But have you ever wondered why shops charge what they do for that visual inspection? A lot of it has to do with what they actually deal with during the inspection and that 18 step pro call that they go through to actually inspect the cylinder. I want to show you two cylinders real quick and see if you can find the problem with the valves. Yes, I'll go ahead and say the problem's in the valves, but let's see if you can spot it with your eyes exactly what the problem is with these tanks. So what do you think? Did you find a problem? What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, make sure you hit this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now just like in our teaser clip today, we are going to be looking at tank valves and we're going to see if you can tell what the damage with the valves are. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a quick look here. These two valves were actually brought in with customer cylinders here who wants to convert his yoke system over into a DIN system and this is what we call a pro k valve basically a pro k valve is just a standard in this particular situation say a thermo valve where you can just unscrew the insert of the valve and convert yoke over to DIN very easily now these are 200 bar systems these are not 300 bar systems with a 300 bar system it's going to be a little bit deeper uh, valve head or orifice area and these inserts will not screw into them so if you ever purchase a DIN system and think well okay I can convert it by yoke by simply screwing this in with a 300 bar system you cannot do that so you want to make sure that if you want what we call or what we used to call convertive valve systems you want to make sure they're the 200 bar systems now if we take a close look at this basically in short this customer just simply unscrewed the insert he made a yoke system into a den system and he tried to do the same thing with this one but it would not work and if we look at the insert itself you'll notice it's just a six millimeter or a quarter inch allen head that you just screw in right here into the center and unscrew and then of course you have a yoke converted to a den but this one would not work for him and no matter how many times he tried he kept stripping the head of the insert itself out we've even put an out all tool in there to try to screw in there of course that renders it useless which is not a big deal because we have a ton of inserts that we can put back in for him but we couldn't figure out no matter what we did why it would not come out and then we paid really close attention to the first one if you look closely you'll notice this is almost a perfect circle all right so it goes it's rounded all the way over if we look at this one you'll notice that it's not a perfect circle if we look up here in the quarter you'll notice it's almost angled versus circular and there's a reason why that's happened this tank or the valve itself has actually been dropped on itself just like that right there whether it was dropped out of a pickup truck or it just fell over at the pool deck or whatever it has definitely been smashed and i can kind of prove that to you if i take both valves here stand them up if we look at the back valve here, you'll notice that it is nice, pretty, and rounded. If I come up to the front one, you'll notice that flat spot right there. And basically, it's been dropped. I'll kind of put my thumb on it and show you here. It's been dropped on itself. And these valves are nothing but brass, guys. They're really, really soft metal. So not only has it pushed in right here, it's pushed all the way in and actually bent the insert itself. So that insert, and hopefully the camera will focus, is no longer rounded up here where my fingernail is, right? So it's flattened out. And no matter what, that insert's not going to come out. Now, we can get it out, but it's going to do a lot more damage than what we're wanting to do. But to be honest, at this point, it does not matter. This valve is going to be useless. We're actually just going to throw this valve away. Or better yet, I'm going to use it as a training aid during the SSI Equipment Techniques program. So this valve, no good we're actually going to replace the valve for the customer and to be honest he's actually going to replace this one too because he's wanting to convert these cylinders into side mount cylinders and he needs an extended post over here so we're going to get him some left and right handed uh, valves to make 
the extended post stick out so he can use his side mount bungees. But it's little things like that that you want to be careful of. If you ever drop a cylinder, I don't care how hard you hit. I don't care if it just drops, say, on hard dirt versus grass or something like that. Take it in and let a service technician look at it. If they charge you to look at it, something's wrong. All right, you can bring it to us. We're just going to look at it real quick, and we can pick out those little things, and we can tell you what your best course of action is. I'm not going to charge you for that, and I know a lot of service centers will say, well, it's my time, but yeah, it's five seconds of your time to look at something. They shouldn't be charging you that. But to be honest with you, it's nothing really important. It's just your life. If you drop your cylinder, I don't care if it's pressurized or not, take it in to a service technician. Yeah, you might drop it on really soft grass that's something different but if you drop it to the pool deck you drop it out of the back of your pickup truck it lands on the valve especially if your regulator is attached to it and that was something else about these this customer and i know exactly how he damaged it when he damaged it but the yoke regulator still sealed to it so he was actually able to seal a yoke and he's probably made 20 dives on this particular valve since it was damaged before he decided to convert it over so even with that being said though Take it into your service technician, let them look at it. And if you want a class that's going to kind of teach you how to look at things like that, look at the SSI Equipment Techniques course. It's a good course that kind of goes over the steps and the tricks and techniques that we use to make sure we keep our gear in good working order. No, it's not going to allow you to service your own valves, but it is going to give you a better idea of what we do when we do service them. And it's going to give you a better idea of how to prolong the life of your gear by taking good care of it. So guys, I know this was a short video, but I hope it was educational for you. I hope that you are able to look at your equipment now and say, hey, that doesn't quite look right and give you a better idea how to stay safe while diving. Guys, if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.